Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show with your hosts, Lee Silver and Ellen Goodwin. Welcome to another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better show. I'm your co-host, Ellen Goodwin, along with my co-host... Eel Dot Ribless. Well, you've been a guest for with us before, haven't you? Well, that's my name backwards. Ah, I know. And um, I thought, well, if we're gonna do, we're gonna do hacks today, mm-hmm. and it's basically just a new way of doing something you've always done. And yeah, so I just that's... took my name and spun it around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, mine's. I have no idea about my last one, but it's Nell. Nell oh. is my first name. So, um, start with what's your favorite hack? Well, it feels like most of the ones that I thought of, like in the kitchen, uh-huh. and, you know, they're, like, taken. Yeah, We've heard taken. them all. We've we know. Them. Oh, yeah. Our listeners want new and exciting. I know. But there really is a new and exciting hack right around the corner. What's for that? For every single listener. What is that? It's that you start out with a regular thing you do, and you say to yourself, okay, how else can this be done? How can I do it faster, better, easier, cheaper? And you'll start to think of things. And by the way, this is more of a big picture thing. Yeah. But the more you challenge yourself to be creative, be innovative, uh-huh. be resourceful, the better you get at it. Oh, Whereas absolutely. at first, you know, if you asked, you told me that, I'd be like, uh, I don't know, I'm afraid. And then yeah. now, <laughs> bam, I'm taking parts that were left over from some other thing, I don't even, <laughs> and using them for something else. You know, yeah. that's that's a hack. It's a skill. And it's if you combine the two, where it saves time, does things better, faster, and it makes you better. Yeah. You become better, and then you can apply it to anything. Work. I like it. Bedroom. Anything. <laughs> I like it. One of my favorite hacks is to park in the first parking spot I see when I'm close to where I need to be. Ooh, mm, little rhyme there. Yes. So I just, I know I don't have to park right in front. I don't have to be... You know, adjacent. It's okay if I walk a block or two, especially if I'm driving there and I see a spot and I'm like, okay, I'm going to save time. I'm not driving around, probably getting annoyed with people because you're not driving your best when you're looking for parking. You're like, Uh, so I just grab that first spot, slot myself in, take a little walk and get there. Well, I could go with you and say that is genius, (laughs) but I'm not going to. That's okay. I'm going. I didn't expect genius. So if one of your things to do is to get in your steps, my wife's obsessed with getting in the right amount of steps. Wayne agrees with me on this. Park as far away as you can. No, absolutely. And walk your butt in. And then (laughs) it's usually it's like Vegas. You know, they have the the escalators going into the Caesars Palace. Uh But you got to walk yourself. You got to walk. (laughs) So it's always hard going back. (laughs) But it does challenge you to combine, you know, Getting your tasks done, your errands, yeah. whatever, you're going shopping, whatever. Um, speaking of that, when you're driving around, a lot of times you'll think to yourself, oh, if only I could fix that or touch, do something with that. Meaning, in the back of our cars, I think we should have a little, not a toolkit, but maybe it is a toolkit, but just a bunch of extra stuffs, you know, wipes, you know, extra handy wipes. and Sunscreen. Uh, sunscreen. And, and then there's a tool. It does everything. Uh, My husband? <laughs> That's good. No, no, not that one. What is uh, it called? Wayne, You, I know you use one. What is it? It's the multi-tool I'm having on my belt right now. It's got pliers and a screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver and a knife. Awesome. And that's different than a Swiss Army knife because it's got more tools. Yeah. Right, especially like the pliers. It's heavy The pliers, duty. yeah. You know, you, my Swiss Army knife does have pliers, but you could... Maybe you could tweeze your nose hair, but <laughs> anything more than that, it, it's not strong enough. But it's both are both are handy. You uh-huh. know the theory of you know better to be looking at than looking for right, right. one less trip to go find a tool, get someone to help you with something where you got the tools mm-hmm. to do it. Um, I think saves a lot of time. So when you're you drop something in between the seats and your fingers are too fat, I'm, just, I'm talking about me. <laughs> so the little the you know your your I call it it's a Leatherman is the brand, but right. there's others. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, you just reach in, and there it is. There it is. There's my wedding ring. Dang it. Woo. Woo. Let's go. Oh, gosh. Thank goodness <laughs> for the Leatherman. <laughs> well, I'm going to go sort of working, thinking some working hacks. Standing or walking meetings. Now, standing meetings are great. We've gotten so used to just sitting and doing Zoom meetings. Standing meetings are awesome. And then add in, everybody drinks a glass of water before you start the meeting. So... 
people are going to want to leave a little Why? sooner because they got to pee. Oh, I had to make yeah. you say it. That's good. Yeah. And then another thing you can do, our phones distract us. I mean, this we've, we've talked about a million times. Wait, 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 let's go back to the standing meeting. Yeah. So Steve Jobs always said, look, if you want to be an innovator, a creative person, you cannot can get into a rut or continually do the same thing over Absolutely. and over again because you're not getting any new input, any new sensory no things ideas. that you can mix because that's what creativity is. You yeah. take something you already know and then something you just discovered and put them together and that's then you've created something brand new. But you have to ch- shake things up in your life to do that. So if you've always worked sitting down, standing up with just take your laptop or monitor or whatever and stick it somewhere where you can... Anywhere in the house, especially if you're working from home, or mm-hmm. ask for the stand-up desk. But just the change in perspective, yes. it just triggers new ideas. Oh, yeah. And who doesn't want new ideas? Everybody wants new ideas. I knew that. Okay. I'm going to go back to the phone because our phone distracts us, which we don't get new ideas because we're getting distracted by things that we go to because it makes our brain feel good. So stop making your phone feel good to go to. By taking away all the bright, shiny colors. I mean, basically, we're still little kids where we want the bright, shiny toys. So make your phone black and white. Easy to. Here's the $10 I owe you because I said I, if I interrupted you. No, you you interrupted. Yes. You're welcome. I knew it. You did interrupt me. That was a safe bet for you. (laughs) But do your black, do the black and white. So it, it will make your phone less exciting. And it's easy to do, and you can switch back and forth. So while you're working, you keep it on black and white. And when you're not working and you want to get distracted, go to the color. But it's easy to do. It's an easy way to keep your brain on track. And we all need that. What were we talking about again? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So figure out a hack that works for you. Like Lee said in the beginning, look at things differently. What you usually do. Figure out how to make it faster, easier, or better. And then be with us again next week for another episode of our show.